Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you've had a nice week, and I hope you are ready for another mobile app review. And today, I'll be playing a game called Soul Knight, a game that I've played at Best Buy before on one of the demo phones. And when I first played it, I'm like, this is a okay game. It could be better. I'm not, I wasn't very fond of it from the start. But then as I started to play some more, that's when I liked the game. Like, um, in my head, I'm like, that's something I would like to play in the future. So today, that's what I'm going to be doing. Let's hop right in. So right off the bat, you see an assassin, the guy with the black guy with yellow eyes, and this is obviously not the version I played when I first played it. Um, it's version 2.0, so must be like better pixels, better animations. Um, there's yeah, it's very different from when I first. Well, not very different. Some of, a lot of the weapons are different though. See that fist cannon right there? That wasn't there when I first played. Um, there weren't like there wasn't Bosnian as you see right there. Um, see, there's added mount system and armor system. I don't know what that means. Um, the previews look really good. Looks highly animated, highly pixelated. Um, you can play multiplayer, I think. Oh, no, that's just, yeah. Um, the reviews are 4.8 4 out of 5, so it's a really good game. Because if you see right there, the five stars, there's a lot of five-star people. Um, I'm going to read this review. So, in my opinion, this game is an easy and fun game, but there are a lot of ways to make it better. When upgrading heroes, there's only five upgrades. I think that it would be a lot better to add another two upgrades or so, maybe to increase... Oh, well, I won't be able to read all this really quick. So, the age rating is nine and up, just to be aware. Um, yeah, let's hop right in. Let's start a new game. A bunch of bad guys stole the magic stones and the world descended into chaos. Can you take back the magic stones? I don't know, can I? And it doesn't give you any tutorial. Oh wait, open the chest and pick up the weapon. So on the bottom left hand side of the screen, this is the movement button. And um, the, this target icon, that's to shoot your weapon. This um, electricity thing is like the upgrade, you can, special power ability you can get by just shooting it randomly. Um, the little pistol with a zero on it is like the weapon you currently have and it takes zero stamina, the blue bar at the top left. So I have an SMG M1, and it does three damage worth one gem, five attack, and five range. I don't know specifically what that means, so this is real, a lot better than the bad pistol, as you can see. It's like a good spamming weapon, so a cat following me. Uh, yeah, let's hop right in. So, clear all enemies in the room. Okay, sounds simple enough. Um, tap the skill. Oh, well, now I can like shoot. Oh, I can switch back and forth. Um, although there are new enemies and they've upgraded the mini map up here. So there are, I guess this is a lobby because normally in a lobby, there are different characters, you, a different character selection, um, different characters you can choose from. You can upgrade your character or, um, 
there's like a fridge, a vending machine, and a chest, and there's two different rooms to the left and the right of me. This is a garden. Um, and love, unlock at level one five. So I guess I have to survive and keep playing to level one five to get to this. It looks like a shop or something, some sort. So not used to the controls, you can change in the settings. Let's see, settings, um, control. Eight, di eight direction movement. I don't know what that means. Eight direction, oh, probably like buttons. You can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like you can do that. Auto clear arrows or keep arrows. Keep arrows, um, screen shake level two. And it's a different map this time. So I guess it randomly generates maps. It seems you have a shield stamina bar and health. Once you get through your shield, then it gets your health. And there are different variations of common enemies, like there's the regular miners, there's the oversized miners, and there was the, in the level before the tutorial, there was the guys with the mask and there was like the really oversized guy with the mask. I don't know what to call them. So I can revive or I can, I'm um, gonna revive, why not? So just, I can just continue on. Um, it doesn't really take anything away, restores all my health. Can't forget the chest, let's see, boom. And mostly in chest, it just gives you stamina or coins, coinage. Guardian Railgun. Sounds like a cool gun, like Railgun. You can charge some weapons up like this if you tap and hold it. Let go and it, there's like this big explosion. I think. Dragon Dance Armor. I've never seen armor before, that's pretty cool. Huh, so it has bite, level one attack, and rocket fireworks. Whoa, this is, I've never seen this before. It's like a suit. This is definitely like an upgrade. This is like a new thing. It's really cool. So I'm gonna try bite, how bite works. My gosh, this is OP, it's overpowered. Um, it's a really good suit. Like, didn't even lay a finger on me. Uh, let's see, something to the left of me. I did this room so, it's nothing else to do. Well, hopefully when I go through the portal and go to the next level, it saves my progress on like, the suit. Please select the power. I don't know what this means. Statue. Statue? Get energy whenever you kill a monster. Increase accuracy and critical hit chance. Um, I need energy more than anything other than health because energy, it's like how much, like if you use your weapon too much, you don't have any energy and you're forced to do melee attacks. And, yeah, so I'm gonna try, save my suit, nice. And the suit has like health bar, green health bar, thing above my head. Um, can my cat die? I'm worried about that, cause I really like cats, so just hope it can't die. Um, going to see what the suit can do, actually do. It doesn't stand one chance against the um, the really big guys. And, okay. So I have a lot of health taken from me on my suit. I've lost the suit, sadly. Um, I guess you don't lose your health when you're in the suit or your shield, you just lose the suit's protection. Um,
If you see on the mini map, there's like the green home. That's where you started. There's the chest. Um, it shows where you are on the map. The heavenly sword. It's literally a fish. It's a fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's a sword called the heavenly sword and it's a fish, a salmon. <laughs> like, I don't understand why is there a fish. Um, I can like supercharge my weapon, which I like that ability where you can supercharge it and get it like really powerful more than the regular just tap, tap, tap. Um, so I'm guessing there's at least 10 levels because there normally is at least 10 or something, like fit around 10 levels, like 15 levels sometimes. So there must be 10 levels. I don't know if there's a way to check. So after getting into the new level, I have 30 coins, two out of six health, which is not that good, five out of five shields, and 177 stamina out of 80. And there is a new enemy, the star guy. He apparently has a an, an crystal porcupine thing. The same miner, so nothing else much too different. Um, and there are some miners, which confuses me. Some miners are basic like this, some miners have a drill, and some miners have a pickaxe. And there are some miners that have like, that are in like a cart of some sort. It's really weird, like a drilling machine. Which, I mean, I understand a drilling machine, but why a drilling machine? Why not like a mine cart? Uh, let's see. There's a weapon called Alien Eagle. Pretty cool. Um, let's see. The alien eagle is a good spamming gun because if I tap and hold it. Okay, so what should I go for? The alien eagle or the rail gun? Let's see. Um, zero. I think I might go for the alien eagle and the heavenly sword because both don't take any stamina from me. Armor merchant. I am just getting like, oh, armor merchant. Uh, need a ride, 30. So I guess it like t takes you to a place, I don't know. This is no drive safe. Oh, oh, it's like a suit now. So I have a mecha arm. That's it. So it's another suit. That's pretty cool. It's like, I've got two really big fists that it's like Hulk, just Hulk smash, just destroy the floor. But how this is gonna work. Oh my gosh, this is really, a really good weapon. Cause I like the suits because they don't take any stamina, but they, they're also really strong, and it's like a shield. If you don't die in the, if you lose all the, uh, let's see how to put it. If you lose all the um, suits, like energy, if it just wears down, you still have your health no matter what it was, even one out of six, two out of six, six out of six. Um, it still saves your health. It doesn't take away your health or your stamina. Which I like, oh, in the mini map, I missed a chest. And I know that because it's like all dark around the chest. I um, guess I was too distracted about the um, suit of armor to be focused on the um, chest. SMG M2. So I'm guessing this is the SMG M1, but the second version. 
I think the graphics were really good, better than the last time I played. Um, like, it's very exact. Like, there's not a, like, make one pixel here, one pixel there, they make like a little circle. There's not like a pixel hanging on top. It's like pinpoint perfect, basically. Um, a lot better than the last time I played because the last time I played it was a little staticky, kind of. So this is a big upgrade. And the, the gameplay is a lot better because there's a wider variety of weapons or there's suits now. There's like, let's see, there's suits. There's no, there's pets because last time I played, I didn't ha get any pets. I didn't get any, anything like that, any suits. It's completely new, but it was a fun game. I like the playability, the controls where they're placed, like the movements over here, the how to change your weapons over here. The only thing I don't like about the layout is the power button. Because whenever you try to press the attack button, and you're just pressing it really fast, and you're not trying to look where you're going, you're trying to look at the screen where you're maneuvering yourself, where you're shooting it. You sometimes happen to press the the special power, and I'd make it either a little smaller or you can tap and hold your character to make, to make the super ability because I accidentally press it sometimes. It's kind of annoying, but other than that, the playability or the controls, I, it's good. Um, some of the settings were confusing though because it said like shake meter or keep arrows, automatic arrows, and I'm like, what? What does that mean? So hopefully when you guys play, you'll figure it out what it means. I think the music is really good. It's like something not too like soft, but not, not something way too like ACDC. I'm not a fan of ACDC, just an example. Like something too hard or harsh. I mean, it's closer to that, but then it's kind of in the middle between the two because it's not like classical music, like a lullaby, but it's not ACDC harsh. It's kind of in the middle. Um, it's like something you can like rock your head to. I like how you can change different characters. Like, you can have just the knight, the merchant, or not the merchant, just, you can choose different characters. You can choose a different pet. Forgot to do that, or I didn't get to doing that because I wasn't thinking about that at the time. So what you do is you just tap the pet by the TV and you can change a different pet. So something to look forward to next time I play. Overall, the game, I thought the game personally was pretty good. Better than the last time I played, better graphics, better music. Well, the music was the same, but better, like there are different things like the pets, the costumes, the suits, the weapons. Um, one thing I would change, well, I already said it before, but the, the power, button where it's placed, unless your hands are really small, it's going to be hard to like act, not accidentally press it. I'd recommend it to you, I'd give it out of 10, I'd give it about a seven because there's a lot of improvement that could be made. Like there could be a custom match, a player versus computer, player versus player, um, or you could play locally versus other people online. I think that'd be a cool thing to have. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other ideas for a different game I could play or a different segment, different option of things to do, let me know in the comment section down below or my information will be there so you can contact me. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you like the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel so I can keep making these type of videos for you. And if you have a different idea for a game or like a different segment to do, let me know in the comment section down below or my information center will be right there by the comment section. So you can contact me about different game or whatnot. This is Micah, signing out.